Hello and welcome to this video from Haybridge High School and Sixth Form Maths Department. This video is about representing percentages by shading shapes and bars. We can represent percentages by shading parts of shapes. So first we have this question and it's asking us to shade 50% of each of these shapes. Now, you may already know what 50% is as a fraction, or you may need to work it out. So, when converting a percentage to a fraction, we put the percentage as the numerator, and because percent means out of 100, we put the 100 as the denominator. So 50% is 50 out of 100. And then we can simplify that. So we're going to divide the top and the bottom by 50. And that will give us a half. So 50% is equal to a half. So to shade 50% of each shape, we shade a half. Next question shade 25% of this shape. So again, we're going to turn 25% into a fraction. Now you may already know what 25% is as a fraction, but if you don't, we're going to go through the same steps that we went through for the first question. So we're going to put 25 as the numerator and 100 as the denominator. Then to cancel this one, we can divide the top and the bottom by 25. And that's because 25 is the highest common factor of 25 and 100. So 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So 25% is equal to 1 quarter. So in order to shade 25% of the shape, we're going to shade a quarter of it, as shown. So, our next question, shade 75% of this shape. So, let's do the same thing again. So let's turn 75% into a fraction. So I'm going to write this as 75 over 100 and then the highest common factor of 75 and 100 is 25. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 25. So 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So 75 is equal to 3 quarters. So we're going to shade 3 quarters of the shape as shown in this diagram. We can also represent percentages by using a bar model. So what I have here is I have a bar that is split into 10 equal sections and I want to shade 20% of the bar. So I need to work out how many sections I need to shade. So I'm going to start off by working out 10%. So 10%, so I've got 10 sections all together, and to find 10% I divide by 10, so 10% is one section. And then to shade 20%, I would need to double that, because 10 times 2 is 20, so I need to double the number of sections that make up 10% of the bar to find 20% of the bar. So to shade 20% of this bar, I would need to shade two sections. And that's shown there, so that's 20%. So the next question is to shade 70% of the bar. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to work out 10% again. So we did 10% before, and 10% was one section. Now for 70%, 
I'm going to multiply by 7. So to shade 70% of the bar, I'm going to shade 7 sections. And that's shown there. So, this time we've got a blank bar. So there are no sections marked on this bar, but we can work out how to shade 90% of the bar by working out the length of the bar, finding 90% of that and then shading it. So if I move my ruler down and I measure my bar, there we go, my bar is 10 centimetres long, so I need to work out 90% of 10 centimetres. So the easy way to do this is to work out 10%, which will be one centimeter. And then to take that away from 100%, because 100% take away 10% will give me 90%. So 90% would be 10 centimeters take away one centimeter which will be nine centimetres. So, if I make a mark here, that's where my nine centimetres is. And then if I just rotate my rule around, and then I'm just going to draw a straight line at 90%. And then I'm just going to shade this section in here. And that represents 90% of the bar. So I've got another question here, which is shade 5% of the bar. So I worked out before, my bar is 10 centimetres long, so 10% is going to be one centimeter. So five percent, or well five is half of ten, so five percent must be half of one centimeter, which will be 0 0.5 centimeters. So I'm going to make a mark here at 0 0.5 centimeters, and then I'm going to draw a line. and then just shade this part, so this is my 5%. So we've got one more question here, which is shade 85% of the bar. So, if we work out 15% and take that away from 100%, which is the whole length of the bar, then we'll have 85% left because 100 take away 15 is 85. So if I work out 10%, which is one centimeter, and 5% is 0.5 centimeters. So altogether 15% will be 1.5 centimetres. So 85% will be 10 centimetres minus 1.5 centimetres. which will give us 8.5 centimetres. So find 8.5 centimetres on my ruler and, and make a mark. And then let's draw a line. And then we're going to shade this section. And this represents 85% of the bar. So remember with these whole bar, will always equal 100%.
and you just need to work out which part of it you need to shade to show the percentage that you asked for. And that's it. So that bar now has 85% shaded. Thank you for watching.